Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to guide you how to solve lab 3 practice 1. The question is write a simple program to read 3 words in string. So we have to declare string for 3 words and sort them and, and this sort them lexicographically. Lexicographically means it is an order based on the computer um, based on the computer index. Okay, computer set the index for every key. Like A, what is the index uh, key, where, what is the index number, and then Z, what is the index number, and so on. So please enter three string. This is the sample output. And then example of inputs, three words. Then we will display lexicographic order uh, with the smallest one to the largest one. Lexicographical. So let's try for these algorithms. The first thing we have to declare, variable. We declare string, three words. Then we have to get the input. So what is the message? Um, you can just simply copy from the questions. And paste it here. And then we will store variables. Three variables. Now, after we store it, we have to do comparisons using if else statements. In such a case, we have three words to compare. We have to consider first, we want to figure out which one is the smallest one. We assume, we just assume that the first word is the smallest, follow with second or third. For the if statements, This is the first case. If word one smaller than word two, and word one is smaller than word three. So now it is confirmed. In such case, this equation shows that it is confirmed. Word what? Word one is the smallest one. We will display word one. That is the task. And then we will compare between the word two and word three in order to figure out which one is the second and which one is the largest one. We compare word 2 and word 3. If word 2 is smallest and then display word 2 follow or I write comma word 3. That's all. In such a case means that here we already reach in the statement that word 1 is the smallest, word 3 is the largest. And then we add on We add on, we compare word 3 and word 2 again to see whether word 3 is smaller than word 2. Okay, we don't need this because we already here, uh, we can put else. We already have the statements above, so we can put else, then we will display word 3 and word 2. Thus, this is word 3, this is word 2. Okay, done. First comparison parts, done. But there is one mistake over here, if statements follow with one statement, then we can skip the curly bracket. But in this case, we have so many curly bracket. Uh, sorry, we have so many statements, so we have to add the curly bracket. This part, copy and paste it here. So now, this particular uh, sections fulfill the lexicographical order for word 1, word 2, word 3. Okay, next, we have to check whether word 2 is the smallest one and whether word 1 or word 3 is the largest one. We just copy and paste and change all of the numbers. Word 1, word 3, 2, 1. Word 2 compared to word 1, word 2 compared to word 3. And then we will display word 2. Word 2 is the smallest one. Then we compare word 1 and word 3. If word 1 is smaller than word 3, then word 1, word 3. This one is word 3, word 1. So now 2, 2, 1, 3. 2, 3, and 1. Okay, this part is done. Next, we have to compare between word 3, word 1, and word 2. Change word 3, word 3, word 1, word 2. Change all of this. And then we get this outcome. So I hope this is clear and you can refer to the plot chart how it works. All right. So in order to achieve this, this is not the coding, this is just algorithms that we have prepared. 
you can just simply copy the whole code, paste it in your C++ compiler, and change all of this display to C out, and then store variable as C in, and the rest should be okay. Should the rest, um, you have to make sure, I think that's all. Yeah, when you compile and run, you should get uh, the full program. Okay, let's try.